Hey, what's up? This is Kevin from Kevin's Barbecue Joints, and in this episode of 10 Minutes With, I get a chance to talk to Amadeo and Dusty from Miller's Smokehouse in Belton, Texas. I'm excited because we are going to be talking about their new introduction of breakfast and get deeper into the coffee situation that they have going on, which is incredible. Breakfast will be starting at 6.30 a.m. and we'll run to 11 a.m., seven days a week. As Dusty says, it'll be protein and caffeine but also homemade biscuits, homemade buns, house-made bacon. Every meat will be ground in-house. It's not going to be a gluten-free breakfast, he says. Uh, so it's officially started as of now. Uh, when I talked to them, it was about a week off. And also, too, the, um, the bakery is going to be expanding. So this is a really cool thing. Two of them are together talking about that. And after 11 o'clock, you'll get their barbecue as usual. So... It is going to be a great thing. I'm really excited about it. Can't wait to visit, and I'm sure you are too. And I'm super excited to have two partners on board for the Kevin's Barbecue Joints podcast and YouTube show. They are AJ's Custom Cookers and Treaty Oak Distilling. AJ's Custom Cookers is in Saginaw, Texas. AJ has been welding for over 27 years. AJ's Custom Cookers has been around for 11 years, doing tons of stuff. I'll custom anything you need from a regular offset to live fire he can do. Check out his work at ajscustomcookers.com or follow him on any of the social media at AJ's Custom Cookers. Give him a call. He is great to work with. I have a custom cooker on board too. Also, Treaty Oak Distilling is out of Dripping Springs, Texas. They're a beverage partner for the show. They were founded by Daniel Barnes in 2006. I am most interested in the red-handed bourbon, the Ghost Hill Texas bourbon, and the red-handed rye. Delicious, wonderful. I'll get more into it later because this these 10 minutes with they're really quick so I want to do quick little blurbs on both of the partners you can check out Treaty Oak Distilling at treatyoakdistilling.com or on Instagram at Treaty Oak check them out and make sure you drink responsibly if you're digging this please subscribe I do at least two or three of these per week I'm available at all the social medias at Kevin's BBQ Joints I have a website at kevinsbbqjoints.com but at the end thanks so much Enjoy this one. How are you doing, Dusty? Doing great. See the new kitchen? That is, yeah, so I, I, you know what's funny is I, I purposely didn't read anything about your breakfast stuff because I wanted to learn it from you guys because I, like I was going to last night Google it again. I'm like, ah, you know what? I'd rather not. I don't know how much has been written. A lot of people don't know a lot about it. Not too much. Dan Yvonne hooked us up with a nice little, little kind of, he kind of was the first person to kind of release that we were doing breakfast, which was obviously pretty cool. But, uh, yeah, so everything we've been doing, we're going to keep doing uh, just from 11 o'clock on as normal with the addition of some new bakery equipment, some, some buns and future bread and things like that. We're just kind of adding to, uh, getting a little more capacity on the pies and things like that. Um, so a lot of the new stuff happens from 6.30 in the morning until we open at 11. Okay, and that's at the same location, right? I... Yes, yeah, so that, that was, we had all kinds of plans on how we were going to do breakfast. We didn't originally plan on doing breakfast in this building, but then we did a few brunches and it just really made sense. So we've kind of gone down the coffee roasting, you know, coffee shop, bakery, breakfast, rabbit trail. and <laughs> Yeah, it seems yeah. like. <laughs> and you guys have gone like deep into the coffee world, right? Yes. <laughs> it's probably too deep. We got into it deep pretty, pretty quick. Who was the first person to, to push that direction? Was that you or oh, it was you, Dustin? Yeah, it was, it was somewhere between a caffeine addiction and that kind of became a, an interest in coffee. And then I think... So when it comes to restaurant equipment, it's easier for me to spend money than, than other aspects of my life. And so we just kind of started rolling. And that was, and that, because for a lot of people too, I don't think, and I maybe I'm making a wide generalization, but I don't think people have had really good cups of coffee in their life. And I know that in where I live, there's, to, to have really good coffee, I'd have to go over the hill into parts of LA, different parts of LA, or... I'd have to invest in some equipment. And yeah, I think uh, if you're having trouble in parts of LA, you can imagine what happens in Central Texas, <laughs> you know, between Austin and Waco. So yeah, we we definitely, um, as people that do love coffee, and we have a lot of staff that really do enjoy good coffee, um, it's hard to find what you're looking for without taking a drive. Yeah. Uh, and then mixed with, and I mentioned in the past, uh, coffee and barbecue actually go really well together. Oh, amazingly well. They complement one another, and, and some of the, the saltier notes um, and the meat brings out the sweeter notes in the coffee, and it's just kind of, for us, it makes sense, and all the desserts. So so, to, so you guys getting your own beans in raw, and then you roast them, is that what? Yes, correct. So that's kind of unusual, too, for, for most places in general, right? Yeah, so it's almost like sourcing brisket, like if you're wanting a certain type. So for, for coffee, there's different regions, different countries, and then there's different parts within a region that 
it literally can get so as deep as you want it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can imagine. But uh, luckily, you know, there's there's resources out there, like different companies that can help. That you know, they carry certain places, like from whether it be you know Brazil to, to Africa, you know, all over the world. And it's pretty cool how different parts of the world can have different flavors and have so have like the same flavors. I guess you know just how they're farmed and then the, kind of the history of the farms it goes like some of them that i've just been reading from ours is like 1800s of like just hundreds and hundreds of years of the same family that's amazing yeah, of like hectares that they have for their just coffee it's, it's it's impressive and you can and are you becoming good at discerning like can you tell if you have something for like what region it's from or um here and there there's there's stuff now like i said learning that I can get a bean from Colombia, and it tastes like something in Ethiopia that I, that we really like these fruit bombs, and it's just it's it's like wine. It's like being a. It's just like wine, yeah. It's, it's it's it is deep. It's crazy. It's fun. So now, if people come in, can they buy beans? They buy can buy beans from you as well as. Yes, yeah, so we have retail bags set up on the counter, and then we've got the Lamarzoco and all the. We got a full coffee shop in our bar, which is about to go a little bit. We're going to go a little deeper into it this this week. We've been staying up here every night. So we close at three during the week, and from basically from four until as late as people can work, we've been installing vent hoods and equipment and gas lines, and just just kind of adding a restaurant in the restaurant. So we're gonna, yes. And, I've, and I've I've seen Dusty that you've uh, you've added your uh, to the stories to the Instagram stories now. Yeah. I I think begrudgingly, right? It's been fun. <laughs> just poking holes in the roof after hours is always kind of a calming thing to do. So let's talk about, let's jump into the to the breakfast thing. So what will people be getting? What, so 6.30 you said? Yeah, 6.30 in the morning, seven days a week, and it's just going to be protein and caffeine is kind of what we're going for. So homemade homemade uh, biscuits, homemade buns, house-made bacon, every meat ground in house, just a very simple, high-protein, uh, not gluten-free, uh, caffeinated breakfast, super simple. But everything we do, we want to be, you know, really good so eggs too we're gonna do um, a lot of soft scrambled eggs and some fried eggs for the sandwiches um, and we've got kind of we're gonna add some poached and things we're gonna keep it so simple at first though uh, just because we want it to be kind of quick and easy and not <laughs> this is all kind of new to us as well so yeah. we're kind of gonna make sure it works so do you think it's gonna be a lot of grab-and-go kind of stuff mix it's a mix it's just it's crazy how much time people kind of do have here in the mornings which for us you know we get here and it's like we're going and you're just seeing a lot of people are walking around. People are. We we went to breakfast one day. There was actually quite a bit of people out. It's just people want to have meetings and work meetings, and they choose restaurants. You know, it's easy. You can do two things at once: eat and meet. So that's one of the things that I think would make it easier for people because people try to come in at 11 and have like meetings with other businesses, and it's like, well, now they have four and a half, or three and a half, four and a half four hours. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 exactly. So, so is that has the breakfast? When does the breakfast officially start? Uh, we're gonna de- probably decide that this afternoon. We, we we're aiming for being completely ready by the fifth, which we are going to be scrambling, and we would be able to open the fifth with a few, uh, I don't know, behind the scenes probably problems that are harder than they have to be. So, really, within the next no more than two weeks, no less than like four days, okay. we're we're gonna open, and we'll probably announce it like the night before. Okay, so it'll be probably at the very latest mid January. Yes. Okay. If it's later than mid January, I, I don't know. It, I'm not yeah. good at. I'm not really patient, so it's hard for me to like fathom waiting because I'm really excited. So if people want to find out about like what's going on, just follow your guys' personal Instagram as well as the the business Thanks. Instagram. You're not going to have a separate yeah. breakfast Instagram, are you? No. And you no. guys, like sausage wise, you guys are you guys going to use the sausage that you guys use for barbecue or use sauce like breakfast sausages? We're gonna make a yeah, house breakfast sausage, um, and a lot of it's gonna be just patties. So we're working on a really nice fat, you know, pork pan sausage, basically a breakfast burger. That's killer. That's really cool. And you guys already do. You guys already sell bacon, right? We do yes. sell bacon. Um, we are already stocking up. On, we're, we've been grinding, kind of getting everything cured out and everything um, for the last week and a half. And we're, we're gonna. We already know that that's gonna that's gonna get fun in a hurry. Uh, just filling the walk-in up with because uh, it takes about a week before you can actually smoke it so do you have you have space for all this right like for storing it cool maybe we got a really big walk-in but we'll just we'll, i mean in a few weeks we'll let you know i mean how it <laughs> how it works yeah i should check in like in three months or two months and, and see that's because because i'm sure you guys will learn a lot because and and who who whose idea was it for breakfast was it all you guys like this because of the meetings people coming in for meetings um uh, so to be honest breakfast i had always been pretty stubborn and adamant about i don't want to do anything else here other than barbecue 
And so we actually purchased another building and got it demoed and had plans going. But then we were doing these little brunches and they were like working better than I thought they would. And then we kind of all, we had a lot of things. We have, we have other, between the roasting and other projects we're working on, we have a lot going on. And we all kind of had this epiphany of like, okay, these brunches are working really well. And we already own the tables and the chairs and the HVAC and the electric. You already like have a restaurant that is closed at that time. And it, it kind of made sense. So we're going to have to move some things out of here eventually to make room, we know. But it just kind of it just kind of found us, I guess. We, we, we weren't planning on doing it this way, but now we're very happy that it's happening this way. So are you guys going to have any special brunches on the weekends then still? Or are you gonna... Seven days a week is going to be a special brunch. Oh, so it'll so essentially what you're doing in the mornings are a, it's a special brunch. But is it, so it's what those special – so if someone's gone to the, the brunch already, it's – Somebody yeah, those were done as like a test kitchen, like market, just to kind of see what people would buy. And, we, and they were like, we didn't have the kitchen set up. We were cooking like eggs in the bakery and bacon in the. Uh, we were just, it was like, really just just to see if it would work. And then the last one we did, like the line was like, down the building past the pit room, for for very very simple brunch. And we were like, well, that's cool. That's a sign. Maybe there is a need for some breakfast and coffee in this town, so we want to do it. If you want to just come in and grab coffee, coffee can you? It's do you have a, like a, another line or is it separate? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. So the the bar, you can just go straight up to our bar and order there, call in, and we're gonna look at some mobile ordering just for in the mornings. And um, yeah, you'll be able to go there, grab, and, and get out. And breakfast, what will it be? Sit down breakfast, or will it be? It'll yeah. be it'll be a quick serve. So you order it kind of like you would at a go up to the line, order. Gotcha. Sit down and it comes right out. Oh, that's right. That makes sense. So if someone comes to Miller's, they can get, like, the breakfast is only till 11? Correct, yes. And then after that, for someone that oh. has never been has right. never been there before, they can get all the, all the all the meat items. Do you guys have a full bakery? Yeah, and the bakery is it's, it's expanding as we speak. So we've been bringing in bigger mixers, proofers, uh, some other new equipment, and we're just going to be ready for, we're going to take it slow, kind of one pastry at a time, one, one bun at a time, but we do want to kind of, go deeper into, into, into the coffee and the bakery and all those other things to just make this place better without kind of getting, without spreading the team out too soon. Wow, that's exciting. How, how cool is this? This is a fun, fun venture. It's going to be really interesting to see how this works out. We're all going to be fat. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you'll also be burning a lot of calories too. So you'll be moving well, around a lot, doing a lot. Well, that's awesome. Well, thank I just, I just wanted to jump to catch, catch up with you guys on that. I have, I usually have three, like, off barbecue questions that I ask. All right, well, uh, if you guys were doing what you're doing right now, what would you see yourself doing? If it wasn't involved with barbecue, what would you want to do? <laughs> That's a good it's question. Tough. So I already went down, I mean, to be honest, but before, I mean, I, I'm a CPA, so before this, I, I was confined in that um, environment, and it's, it's really hard. I can't imagine myself doing anything other than helping grow a business. Um, I, I don't really... The, the product is, is important, but le- less important than the process for me. I really just love building things. So you'd um, be making it, you're doing another business if it wasn't barbecue. I would, I would have to be in a, in another business in some form or fashion, uh, growing it. Um, cause it's just, it's my only hobby. It's all I love doing. What about you? What would you answer? So well, as soon as I started working here, which was over seven years ago now, I knew I liked people and until I started you know, kind of really talking to people and, and I never realized that that's really what I love doing is just meeting, talking, but then I also found that, yeah, I knew I loved food before, but now it's, I, I don't think I would be doing much different. Or maybe a, if anything it would be a different setting restaurant, but I've just really enjoyed the hospitality side. Like just doing what we do, doing this, even just in face to face with you was, it's just been like, Kind of like consuming. I don't know. It's been a yeah, lot of. No, fun. I think that's what I've learned the most too by doing this. Is 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 I've liked this part, the interacting with people and learning about people, and and also I'm sh- sure you get all different types of people coming through. The crazy barbecue fanatics to just everyday pe- folks. <laughs> I guess everyone's everyday folk. There is a variety. Yeah, yeah. There's a variety. I well, was that- like the biggest thing too is like that it hasn't died down. Like it's if anything, it's just like it's it's. The obsession of barbecue is just that unbelievable. That fascinates me, too. Maybe, is it yeah. just because there's more people on the planet? I don't know. It's, a, it's pretty amazing. It really, it's still growing. Yeah. And it's been, uh, like, for us, it's been, like, now it's almost se- almost seven years of, like, just steady, like, growth. Even though, like, there's more quality places opening all around Texas, it's not like anybody's, I don't know, it seems like it's, it's okay. Like, it's not like it's hit the point yet where, like, 
know, there's a lot more options than there was 10 yeah. years ago. But also, too, I feel like you guys are a hidden gem that not everyone even knows. Like, and you guys have made the list twice. Like, it's all this stuff. And But I still think there are people that haven't been to you guys. <laughs> I think the people that don't know. Even locally, like, people that come in that live in Belton, like, I've never been here. I'm like, wow. But you're, it's okay. It's, it's. Yeah. And uh, yeah, because they talking to Zach too, like having, like where you guys came from to them. And then when talking to you, Dusty, like how you guys were in the alley and with the smokers in the alley, that's amazing where you guys have come to from that point. It's all just kind of been trial and error. And the same thing, like the way this breakfast thing, it's like, you'll think you have a plan and then the plan will smack you in the face. And I think so many things are just being open to making changes and just. That's great advice. That's really good advice. Yeah, because if you if you're so set that this is how it's going to work and it doesn't, then you'll either fail or you'll get so frustrated. So a lot of what we do is plan, and we we all get excited about something, and I may get everybody excited about something, and then we wake up one day and say, hey, we're not doing it. We're throwing all of it away. We're doing this, and then the next day we have construction workers in. So it's just, you know. It's probably putting your ego ego aside a bit too. You have to in that business. Very important. Yeah, definitely. Well, then also too. Okay, so music wise, what do you guys listen to right now? Oh, I'm not the music pop culture of any kind. Yeah. I'm not the guy. Um, I mean, <laughs> okay, that's I cool. To literally everything, but this is weird. I love trap music. Trap? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I don't know. It's like kind of getting mindset ready for work for me. I don't know. You just don't. You don't know what you're getting into. But I, I like trap music. But everything. Do you put it on like a on a like a radio like a station or something that has trap or? Like, I literally listen to what I download on my phone. I have not listened to a radio station in like years. No, like, I meant like a like a Spotify station or an Apple Music station. Okay. No, but it would be a trap. There is a trap station on Apple. I'll tell you that. I'm sure there is. But, <laughs> We kind of bounce between like Baby Shark and Imagine Dragons because that's what my four year old likes. So it's that's just. So that's hilarious. Yeah, no, I, I introduced someone to Baby Shark a couple of days ago. They're like, she's like, what's Baby Shark? I'm like, oh, oh. Uh, we jam out on the way to daycare to Baby Shark. <laughs> it's so funny. That's amazing how, like, and it's, it sticks in your brain. <laughs> like, like a, and then, okay, so, and lastly, what, what what's a restaurant that you like to go into, like, go into that's not barbecue right now? My most recent meal that was just, like, a great change up was uh, the guys from Guest Family up in Waco opened a, a ramen place, a cocoa ramen in Waco. And they're utilizing some barbecue in that, which, honestly, I don't necessarily want to eat too much more barbecue at night when I go there. Yeah. But, um, they had a pork sandwich that was just it was just so crispy and refreshing and different. So I, I really enjoyed getting away from meat sometimes and eating some noodles. I forgot, I forgot that they had that ramen place, so that's cool. I'll put that on the list. Yeah, they've been very busy since they opened it. It was uh, I went there one of the first week and they had a huge line and everybody was kind of freaking out, which is cool. That's awesome. So for me, it's I, I, I like to go. So my wife's from Pennsylvania, oh. and whenever we travel out there, there's just new restaurants always opening up here. They're kind of like Austin. And there's two restaurants that we that, – there's one that I frequent by myself whenever I'm up there, which is called uh, Gaucho, which is an, like Argentinian-style barbecue. So just basically wood fire steaks. Love it. Great. Last week we were there. We went to a place called Butcher in the Rye. Had some of the best fried duck I've ever had. But just – I just like things that are a little more different. There's a lot of thought that goes into it from just like what, what plate it's going on to. I don't know. Just – but – we have, Austin, a lot, we have a lot of options these days. We really do. Yeah, it's, that's what's great about living like an hour from Austin that you can always go somewhere and you've never been and it's going to be amazing. Yeah, you guys, it's yeah, that's one thing. Like even though LA has a lot, there's a lot of options. Everything is so far away, but if, but it seems like there's it's it's a little bit more, like if you went to, if you lived in Austin or if you traveled there to Austin, you'd have a lot of options within 20 minutes of yours. Well, thank you guys so much. I'm excited. Yeah, good luck with this new venture. It's, I'm sure... I'm sure it's going to do well, but it's going to be interesting to see how you pivot and change and, and make it work perfectly. You guys aren't going to have donuts, are you? Uh, we not, we're not going to say no to anything because I've just learned if I say no, then I'll wake up like the next week and be like, well, damn, that was a great idea. So I don't know. Brisket, you should have brisket, brisket donuts. Is, is Maybe the... so. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Have a good week. Happy New Year, guys. And, Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Have a see you.